when you see the narcissist doing better without you. The narcissist will triangulate you with other people. They will use another person to try to get to you, to try to affect you. But it's not official. They're not married. They don't have children together. Sometimes the narcissist will put out certain pictures or information and it's designed to affect you. It's designed to get under your skin. But when you see it, you don't understand why they even bothered showing it to you. Because you know they're not all that. You know they're not better than you. It doesn't even bother you. But the narcissist will put up stuff on social media. They will push out these pictures and videos which are designed to get a reaction from you. But it's just to get you to see things the way they want you to see them. It's an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. But it's not real. It's just an illusion. It's just designed to get a reaction from you. All they care about is their image and how they want people to see them. Rather than how things actually are. They will brag endlessly about this other person. They will be excessively proud about this other person. They will engage in boastful talk about their achievements or possessions. But it's always just talking. You don't see too much from them. Because if you did, they would be set themselves up to be humiliated. You would be laughing at them. They would look like a clown. Because a lot of the people they choose are usually out of desperation. They had no other choice. They had to hurry up and find someone new. But they will use this new person to try to get a reaction out of you. They will throw this person in your face to try to make you jealous. To try to make you feel bad. But they're just talking nonsense in an attempt to deceive you. It's just exaggerated and foolish talk. And this other person they're dealing with doesn't know who they really are. It's just something they're using to mislead you. But despite what they may say to you. When the narcissist uses another person to hurt you. In most situations, this other person ain't about shit. It's just used to affect you. In reality, they're not on your level. Which is why they will hide a lot of things from you. They won't reveal everything to you. Or they will give you fake pictures or videos. They will try to create some fake story based on a fantasy inside their heads. They don't want you to see anything that makes them look bad. But even when they do display another person and they're trying to provoke envy or admiration and show defiance, 
It's not a serious relationship. They're not planning to stay together. They're just trying to get your reaction real quick. So that they can get their two second dirty high. Of feeling like they've won. Of feeling like they're better than you. But they will come back with these stupid excuses. To make you feel like you've won. To make you feel like you've beaten the other person. But whenever they talk about that other person. They will act like they're so happy. But it will seem so forced. It will look like it's an act. Because it is an act. It's just intended to hurt you. The narcissist will brag and boast about all of this stuff. But I promise you, if you were a fly on the wall, and you could see everything that was going on in that situation, you would be laughing at them. Because it's a joke. But they will use it to come back to you. Especially if you're not worrying about them. Narcissists love to boast and brag. But most of the time, they're making the wrong decisions. Because they lack good judgment. So it won't be long until they fall. But they will try to manage your perception. They will try to prevent you from seeing what is actually going on. Because they've got to protect their image. So that they can put it in front of you and keep you chasing after it. Well, they're hiding off to the side looking like a hobo. But that's what they don't want you to see. That's what they don't want you to know. They just want to plant these images in your head. And to make you think that's what's going on. But their reality is very different. They just want to make you feel like you've lost out. You've been deprived of an opportunity. You've been beaten in a competition. That you didn't even know you were participating in. You failed to receive an expected reward. And now they're in a much more favourable position and situation without you. They're in more comfortable circumstances. When you know that isn't the truth. But they want you to buy into these illusions so that they can trap you in their fantasy world. So that you can feel like you have lost something and they can feel good knowing that you are suffering and thinking that they have moved on and they're so much happier without you. But it doesn't normally work out that way for them. They might be able to trick you in the moment or in a short conversation without you asking too many questions without you having time to think but it doesn't last for long they will tell you they're just fine and dandy they're doing great but in reality they're never happy with anything they have or anything they're doing they're always looking at what the next person is doing They're always looking at what the next person has got. They're too occupied with the next person's business than to be worrying about their own happiness. So they are never happy. They are incapable of being happy. Because they always want something else or something more. They're never happy with what they've got. 
but they will sell you a dream if you're willing to buy it. They will exaggerate their situation. They will big up this other person and to make them seem more important and prominent than they actually are. But in reality, they're miserable because they're always making the wrong decisions. Their ego is writing checks that they can't cash. You may feel like you've lost something, but you need to recognize that the only thing you've lost is a problem. Something that would have kept you in a difficult situation. Something that would have cost you more than it's worth. Because it wasn't something that was very valuable or helpful to you anyway. The only thing you've lost is the problem. You didn't miss out on anything. They're the ones who are missing out on you because they're narcissistic. They only take value away. They have nothing to give to you, but you have a lot to give. And that's what they're missing. When you're involved with a narcissist, all you're going to get is a bad deal, a bad bargain. The best thing you can do is leave them. Because being with them only results in misfortune. It only results in a loss. You don't gain anything by being with them. They're not paying your bills. They're not cooking your dinner. They're not taking care of you. You're the one who is doing all of the work. They just display to you whatever they thought you wanted to see, but they never followed it up with action because they ain't about shit. If they were, you would have seen something by now, which is why instead of listening to everything they have to say, you just need to look at what you can see with your own eyes. You need to dissect it and look at it for what it is. They created a fake character. They deceived you. Because in reality, there's someone completely different. They're just putting on an act. It's just a form of entertainment. You weren't really getting to know them. You weren't building anything with them. They were just putting on an act to entertain you so that they could get attention and admiration from you. It's like you're in a movie, but no one ever told you you're in a movie. No one ever told you that it's all a game. It's all an act. None of this is real. It's just exaggerations and lies that they have given to you. But it doesn't mean that you're stupid or foolish because you didn't know that they were going to be putting her on an act. The entire time that you were with them, you were learning about this fake character which only prevented your progress with them and gave them the advantage. Because you gave them everything about you. You gave them the truth. While well, they just gave you a fake character, which is why you could never understand them. You could never realize what you were dealing with because this person you were learning about and getting to know doesn't even exist. They don't even exist.
So of course they're going to be ahead of you. It's going to be hard for you to figure them out. Because they don't even exist. And by the time you do figure them out and you see who they really are, that's when it gets really confusing. Because you don't want to believe that it's who they really are. You want to believe that the person you met in the beginning is them. And you think that's the person who is moving on and doing better without you. But it's not. The real person is the one who is always miserable and can't be happy with anything. They're always looking at what the next person is doing and at what the next person has. They're always looking at the next person's business. That's the real them. That's who they really are. And that's never going to change. Everything you thought you experienced with them in the beginning was not real. The fake caring and concern for you. None of it was real. That was done just to keep you locked in. But they weren't really about any of that. It was a fake character. It doesn't exist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.